Hello everybody and welcome to day seven of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well and today we're gonna finally be sewing. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to sew in a straight line, which seems very easy and very basic, but you just need to know it because if you can't sew in a straight line, then you kind of just really can't sew at all. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is press your fabric and that'll just make it easier to sew overall. All right, so first things first, I want to apologize for all the little cat hairs on my muslin. Uh, that is because of Einstein. Um, so let's say you have a pattern that calls for a half inch seam allowance. Um, you can just take a ruler like this. This one is perfect because it's uh, a width of half an inch. Uh, if you don't have one of those, though, you can just take a uh, bigger one and like see the line. So like this line here is the half inch. So whatever your seam allowance calls for, just take your ruler that has that measurement on it. And then just place it at the edge here. So this is the edge that you cut on your pattern, but then the edge that you're gonna sew is that seam allowance right here. So what you're gonna do is just take some chalk. I have white, blue, orange, all the colors. Okay, so let's just mark down that line now. Here we go. If you want, you can also use a water soluble pen. Uh, they both work. So now it makes it really easy when you're at your sewing machine to sew like directly on that line. Because usually you're not gonna have a line like this. You're just gonna have to look at your sewing machine and there's like a little scale on that and you have to follow that, which can be a little difficult for beginners. So doing that just takes a little bit extra time but it's really gonna ensure that your, um, your seams are straight. Another thing you can do when you're working with a pattern is you can take a tracing wheel and instead of marking it down with chalk, you can just pin that um, paper piece on your fabric and then use your tracing wheel and trace along uh, the seam lines. So let me just do that real quick. And when I'm pinning, I like to pin within the seam allowance just in case it leaves some holes in the fabric. And when you're beginning, you're probably gonna be using a lot of pins, but as you get uh, more used to it, you're gonna be able to use a lot less. So yeah, these are all the pins I'm going to be using. So now take your tracing wheel and start tracing all of those seam lines. Go like back and forth a lot or else it might not show on your fabric. And also be careful like what you do this on because if you do it on like a really nice wood table, um, like this little tool is gonna make holes in your table. So just be careful. This is a really old table, as you can see. I don't really much care about it. So even if there's holes in it, whatever. All right, now it's time to take out the pins. And as you can see, hopefully, um, there's little tiny holes in the fabric. So now you know exactly where to sew. And it's less harsh uh, than this. But if you can't see that well and you do want to go the extra step, you can always just trace it back with your chalk. But I am going to skip that step because I want to show you that it is possible to um, sew with your sewing machine uh, only those little holes. Like you will be able to see them because on your sewing machine, there's always like a little light um, just to show what you're doing. So these are my two tips um, to make sure you sew straight. So let's uh, try them out on your sewing machine. All right, so now you are at your sewing machine and what you're gonna do is just align the chalk line with your needle. So let's just do that. Okay, this is pretty, pretty center, I would say. Um, let me just show you another angle. So as you can see, the needle is directly over that white line. So we are perfectly centered and we are ready to sew. 
And at the beginning of the seam, we always want to back tack. So I just reverse and then I go back. And you can go as slow as you need um, to make sure that your line is perfectly straight. But this white line just makes it super, super easy to see where you need to go. And as you can see, that light is really helping me see that white, that white line well. And if you're feeling comfortable, you can pick up this speed. Just make sure you stay centered. You must stay focused. And now that we're approaching the end, we want to back tack and then keep sewing. And then we can trim off the thread. There we go. Look at that. Beautifully straight stitch. Woo! Now what I want to do is go over that pattern piece um, that I used my tracing wheel on earlier. You can see the little holes right here. So let's just let's just try it out. seems pretty centered to me. Let's give it a shot. And now that we're hitting a corner, you're gonna raise um, the presser foot, <laughs> the presser foot pedal, and just T slowly turn your fabric and actually now that I'm seeing it I wasn't done so let's just turn it back around wrap around okay just a little more this should be good let's do the same thing oh yeah oh yeah this is good all right let's just keep sewing as you normally would now Now we're just going to back tack and trim off the thread. And there we go. We have followed the line perfectly and we have a perfect little um, 90 degree angle. <laughs> I was going to say square. Um, I guess it's in the edge of the square, whatever. So yeah, the power of a tracing wheel and of chalk. As you can see here, we have the metal palette on your sewing machine and there are numbers. And you can see at the top row, um, the numbers are actually fractions and they are in inches. So you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but there's four eighths of an inch there. There's that line, which is actually just half an inch. It's the same thing. So when you're sewing, you wanna place the edge of your fabric on that four eighths of an inch line. And when you're sewing, just keep keep that same distance from the line. Um, it's definitely harder than doing it the way we did before, but like it's a big time saver. Um, always sketching out a line just takes a really long time. And the more you sew, the more comfortable you can become with doing just that. So yeah, just practice, um, practice until you're perfect <laughs> and it should be good. So I'm going to try to show you what happens when you just try to follow that line. So let's, let's go for it. So as you can see, I am directly on the four eighths of an inch line. So let's just start sewing. Back tack, of course, as always, and keep going. As you can see, you're winging it way more than with um, the other two because, well, you don't have a guide. I mean, you have a guide, but it's way harder this way. And with this technique, going slow is the best thing that you can do. And as always, we back tack. straight line. Woo! We did it. Yay!
All right, uh, we did it. Um, as you can see, using tools uh, really, really helps to sew straight. Um, I think if I hadn't used anything, like even after sewing for a long time, my seams would just not have been straight. Um, so yeah, those tools are really, really useful. Uh, my fabric is like puckering like crazy, which makes me believe that my tension is wrong, either on the bobbin thread or the top thread. Um, which is not good, but I'm going to figure that out. Uh, so tools like these really, really useful. Make sure that you get the, the clear rulers just so you can see like what you're doing and the seam allowance. And this, this is just a lifesaver. You need it in chalk, really useful. I do suggest getting it in, um, all three colors or just more than just white, because if you like work with white fabric, <laughs> you just won't see what you're doing. Um, so I guess your homework would just be to keep practicing working in a straight line, figure out like, um, what you like best. So if you prefer working with the tracing wheel or if you like, prefer, uh, if you prefer working with the chalk, um, I do really suggest though the tracing wheel when you're working with the pattern, cause it just makes it super easy. And he, if you just feel like you can't see the dots, just use your chalk on top of it. Um, and also just keep practicing with just the sewing machine. Um, with that little uh, scale that's there uh, because that's what you're going to be doing like for most of your life so just start practicing that now and it's just going to get easier and easier so yeah I guess that's it and I will see you uh, for day eight I guess yeah day eight because that was day seven I'm all lost but yeah see you then